So you've got the opportunity to have a table and an event. What are the key criteria or key aspects of how you go to a trade show, how you run a table so you maximise the opportunity? Well, there's a couple of things that you shouldn't be doing. The first thing you shouldn't be doing is standing behind this table, hoping everyone's going to come up to you, take your brochure, take your business card, have a lovely day and expect them to ring you because that is not going to happen. Right? What's going to happen is they're going to take your information, anything that looks like it's free, they're going to take. If you have pens, if you have balls, whatever it is, you can give it all away and you can cross your fingers and you can hope they're going to call. Good luck. What you need to be thinking about is what is the opportunity? How do I maximize it? So the opportunity is simple. You have a stand, which means you have a presence. There is people in the room that are your target market. You need to be connecting with as many people as possible. And what you need to be doing is actually building your list. Building your list, not giving away business cards, not giving away books or brochures, giving away those sorts of things really doesn't sell anything. All it does is it costs you lots and lots of money. So how do you build your list? Really simple. Talk to as many people as you possibly can. Have two or three key questions that you ask them in the initial conversation. Don't spend more than two or three minutes talking to them. And if you establish they fit your target market and that you should be talking to them again later, you grab one of your business cards, you give it to them and you trade. That means you take one of their business cards for your business card. Now, if they don't have a business card, that's fine. What you do is, oh, you don't have a business card with you? Would you mind putting down your name and email address here? And what I can do is I can send you something. Now, make sure you get a phone number too, because what it means is that you can now take this list, go back to work, start making some calls, and making sure that you're building relationships over time. So don't get bogged down in talking to one person. Make sure you've got in your mind, my objective here is to get as many qualified leads as possible. Make sure you use this avenue as a way to attract people to your stand because they're going to start a conversation. Don't just give things away. Make sure you've got some sort of transactional thing happening where you can grab contact details. Ideally business cards, but if not, make sure you've got some sort of list that they can go on to. And no one's going to give you their name and email address and number just so you can spam them. So maybe have some sort of gift you can send them. Now that could be an ebook, that could be a cheat sheet, that could be some sort of spreadsheet that helps them work out their financials. But make sure you've got some sort of lead magnet that people are willing to trade contact details for. And that way you're going to get the most out of the show.